Hi hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen our other videos, please check them out as this will give you a better understanding of the whole project so far. But a quick recap, we are rebuilding a Sea Line SC35 sports cruiser we bought as an incomplete project boat on eBay. The hull is a full production hull fitted with factory fitted plug, which is a complete interior mock-up made of plywood, finished to a near perfect finish and then coated in wax. Moulds were then taken to produce fiberglass interior parts for the full production run of SC35 boats. The empty shell was then sold when Sea Line went into liquidation in 2013, with the plug still mostly intact. A subsequent owner then fitted windows, engines and stern drives, but unfortunately was unable to complete the project. We bought the boat in 2017 and have set about completely rebuilding and fitting out the new boat. So far we have removed engines, fitted engine bay mouldings, aft cabin bed mouldings, fitted a new floor and moulded a new forward cabin bed module. In this episode we set about fitting a new chain locker. Alrighty guys, so we're going to be working on the chain locker today. So in the last video we fitted the small bulkhead that sits just forward of this bed module, so just down here. So next what we need to do is to put a base inside here to form the base of the anchor locker and then what we'll make that out of plywood and then what we'll do is we'll come in and coat that with some fiberglass uh, and laminate that up. But if we get, first of all, we'll get the plywood to fit how we want it to fit, make sure we've got a bit of an angle as well so that we're tipping the water away. In the original factory boat, they actually drilled a hole just here at the front out of the bow and that's how it would drain. And in fact, this bottom of the anchor locker was just sloped that way slightly. As it happens, we've actually got our own hole that's been drilled just here. Um, so we think we're gonna keep that because to repair that on the outside, will be a little bit tricky and, and kind of pointless really. So we'll have that as a, as a backup drain here, but then also we're gonna put another drain here. So we'll have two drains. So hopefully if one gets blocked, the other can act as a, as a backup. Okay, so let's get straight to work. Okay, so this is the original factory plug for the anchor locker. And what we've done is just broken up away the base and we can use this now as a template for our new anchor locker. So what we're gonna do is just see how this fits up front with our new bulkhead in place. And then we can trim, trim it suit and we can make a new uh, piece to go in the bottom and then we glass that up.
Alrighty guys, so the base of the chain locker is cut and that fits really nicely. We've got a nice fit around the edge of the hull here. So we can lay some fiberglass on here, both on the underside and the top side. We'll be putting quite a lot of laminate on this so that it's nice and strong and nice, nice and water resistant. And we'll also be applying flow coat to all of this area so that uh, it can withstand the water. And also what we need to do is just have a look inside this hole. So this has been cut by the previous owner. So this is a drain hole. We just want to make sure there's no core damage in here. We're not sure what the core is, whether it's solid laminate or balsa wood. So we're just going to have a quick look outside and just see what we can see. And then we're going to also check the cab drawings and just see where the layup um, or the balsa core stops. We think it's lower than this, so it should be fine. And then we're just going to put a drill in here and we'll just clean this out and just make sure there's no core damage. And then we can just carry on. So here's the drain hole for the anchor locker. So this has been fitted by the previous owner. And, and actually, we don't see any reason to get rid of this. This is, it, it looks fine uh, with a little stainless steel cover on it there. So all we need to do is just get the drill bit and just drill out inside and just make sure, what we do want to make sure is there's no core damage to the hull. Okay, so we've just been checking the cab drawings for the hull layup on our boat. And you can see here that it says that the balsa layup uh, is to stop uh, just short of the bow, so uh, that basically means that we have got balsa where our through hole is or our drain hole, so we do need to check that. Uh, and also interestingly for those people who that are, are interested, it does show actually that this has also got a plywood transom and most of the core material throughout the hull is balsa, so there is a little bit of wood in the construction of this boat, but we have got, we've taken core samples from several spots in the hull one where we drilled for the diesel heater and, and we're just about to take a core sample here and then we've had one out over here as well where there's a through hole uh, and the uh, laminate and the layup and the balsa core all looks to be in really good shape actually. And the, the boat's never been in the water so uh, I guess you'd expect that but uh, it's just, just good to know all of this timber in the hull is all in good shape. Okay, so we came in with a 30 mil hole saw and we've just drilled this out and now you can see that we've got nice dry balsa. So there was balsa in the laminate, but this is nice and dry, no staining, no rot. So it's in really nice condition there. In fact, you can see here, here's a sample of what we called out. So you can see just round the hole, there is a little bit, tiny bit of rot on the surface or dirt, but actually where we've cut on the backside here, we're onto good solid balsa wood so that's going to be absolutely fine so what we'll do is we'll come in afterwards we'll make a, a plug to go in here um, and then we'll fill this with epoxy and that will make that nice and watertight no more water can get into the, the balsa core and uh, it can drain out through and out through that stainless steel cover on the outside so just given this base a quick sand on the underside so we've put a nice soft radius on here so they can wrap the glass round and we've done that all the way around. And then we also just soften these edges a little bit as well so they were a little bit sharp. So uh, I think actually what we will do now is just run the router over this edge here. Again, just so we can wrap the fiberglass under. Okay, so we've just come in and rounded off these edges with the sander so we can wrap the fiberglass over. And we've also, which has just run the router down here, again, just so we can wrap the fiberglass over so that'll make that nice and easy. So now we're gonna get straight into laminating this piece.
Alrighty guys, so quick update. So we've just laminated this. We've given this uh, a layer of 450 gram and then five layers of 600 grams. So that should be nice and strong. And we're just waiting for this to kick up now. It is getting nice and warm. So that is starting to go off nicely. So we'll leave that for probably about half an hour. That should be done hopefully. And then we'll be able to get that trimmed up. So we've trimmed off the excess fiberglass and we've just come in for a quick test fit and that already fits um, really pretty well. We are going to have to come in and just trim it a little bit more all the way around. We'll probably do that with the sander or the belt sander and you can see that the drain hole is roughly in the right place. We we'll probably just need this to drop down at three or four mil and it'll be exactly where we need it to be. And what we will do of course is just make sure that it slopes forward so that when we put the other drain hole in all the water is going towards the bow of the boat. You can also see here the thickness of the laminate. We've got a nice thick laminate on top of that board. So that will be a good sort of six to eight millimeters. So that'll be nice and strong. We are also, also going to have a rubber mat in here when we finished. So that'll just protect all of this um, once the chain comes down through the hatch there. And also we'll come in and flow coat it, of course, as well. The whole, whole area, this is all gonna be abraded and flow coated. So that'll be nice and waterproof and nice and strong once we've tabbed it to the hole. So that's gonna be a wrap for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.